Hey guys and girls, it's DC here and today I'm going to go over a list of nine jobs in cybersecurity and the natural uh, career progression. Raise it up! So starting right from the beginning, I want to start with jobs that you would uh, basically get as an entry level position and then make your way up through your uh, career growth. First off the rank is the IT security consultant. So an IT security consultant is someone who is uh, working for usually an MSP and they're going out and doing very basic security tasks, mostly networking related. It's an entry level position and usually requires just help desk as the uh, you know, starting point to go from. Uh, most people who are working as IT security consultants have a CCNA and sometimes an MCSC um, and they're usually either going towards being a they're usually going from working as a um, sysadmin or help desk or are looking to get into sysadmin work or maybe even network engineering. It's usually, these days it's like the jump over period of, of jobs. So that is the IT security consultant. Next up is the security administrator, which is very similar to the consultant, but it's a more experienced role. Uh, usually you would have been a consultant for one to two years before coming becoming a, an administrator. Um, again, this is often found in managed service providers, but you can also find this uh, position in SOC teams. Number three on the list is junior SOC analyst. Now this position is very similar to the other two, but it is directly in the SOC team. So often what you do is if you are able to get a degree and then a couple of certifications in cybersecurity, you would then apply for jobs uh, in a SOC team or a security operations center so that you can then progress through uh, in, in that sort of way. I've explained in other videos what a SOC analyst is. Um, so go and have a look at those if you want to sort of find out more about that particular position. But this is sort of like entry level. It's, it's very similar to the consultant and the administrator. It's just more that it is like very firm in the SOC team. So you're looking to progress up from being a junior SOC analyst to them being a SOC analyst. Next up is the IT security engineer or cybersec engineer. Um, this is probably the most sought after position and it's often also called a senior SOC analyst. Your tasks are very similar to the other positions and it is still a very networking focused role. You're also going to be working with a lot of security technologies and um, will often, it depends on where you are I guess, but sometimes you're still going to have to be doing things like firewall migrations, um, you know, all those sort of little jobs that you, you know, port security, etc. You would still be going through those sort of jobs. Um, and this, this position, the security engineer is also very similar to a, a network security engineer. They're, they're very much the same role, just a different name. And different organizations call things different things um, based on what their sort of expectations are. The next one up is the penetration tester or ethical hacker. So once you've been an engineer for a little while, um, you understand all the technologies, you've been working in that position for you know, maybe a couple of years now. Um, your natural progression is to them to become a penetration tester or you can take the other routes which I'll um, put below as well, but they require more experience. So a penetration tester is obviously someone who's doing a penetration audit or vulnerability scan on a network to find out what the vulnerabilities are and then to either act on that or to give it to a, a security architect who would then build a design on how to fix the problems and go about you know, changing a whole bunch of stuff to make money. Number seven is the forensics analyst. So forensics is very similar to penetration testing, but with some slight differences. The penetration tester is gonna be focusing more on actually breaking in, whereas a forensics wants to find out why there are vulnerabilities in the first place. 
hope that sort of makes sense to how that works. Forensics also work a lot with um, cryptology rather than just breaking things. So there is also that, but you need a little bit more experience as a forensics than you do a penetration tester generally, um, but that's not always the case. Number eight is the security architect. So as I said before, most people go to become a penetration tester and then move further on. Um, you can, you know, you, a lot of people go, they skip the penetration testing thing and they want to go more into management. So they're going to go for the security architect role, which also has its own side of sales built in because you're going to have to present your design to an organization to tell them, you know, oh, this is what you need to change and this is why you need to change it. And that does come with a little bit of sales experience. So as a security architect, you are going to need quite a bit of experience. Um, but the money is very, very good. You can earn upwards of 200 grand in Australia as a security architect, so pretty good, yeah. The last one on the list is the Chief Information Security Officer or CISO or CISO or KISO or whatever you want to call it. And they are the top of the cake. They're the icing, right? So with that job, you do need manager's experience as well as certifications. You need cybersecurity certifications as well as experience and you need to have been across a whole bunch of technologies here not just cybersecurity related because you're going to be hit with all sorts of compliance and risk related tasks. CISO is yeah they're sort of the top of the cake they get paid the real big money they're upwards of 250k average so depending on where it is of course if you're in a government you're probably only earning 150k per so what do you guys think of this? Are there any positions that you think I've maybe missed out of here um, or that you think sort of line up in that scale somewhere else? Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Chuck a comment down below or have a chat with me on Discord. I'm, I'm always on there and happy to chat with everyone. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you then. Bye.